Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. And let's start the timer. Let's start the timer. But ding. Uh, TNT. Yo. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, Farmer Bro, Martin Screlly, or whatever oh, his name is. Okay, I thought you said Farmer Bro. And farmer I was like, Bro. I was like, no, I don't know Farmer Bro. <laughs> I so, don't know him. So this man finally got out of prison for his, his scandalous gorge, gouging, uh, what was it, insulin, I think it was, prices or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about Martin Screlly last week, I think, too. Maybe. Did we? I don't bit. know. Well, anyways. Either way. He decided... That he was going to get in on the Web3 trend and start a cryptocurrency called, uh, I think it was called Mar M uh, MSI Martin Screlly Enu. We did. Token. Did, did we talk about we this? We did not. Okay. All right. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, last week we were had Melody on. How do I know about this? Because you probably read about it on the internet. That's okay. Like, okay. Keep going. Just anyways, keep going. Keep going. So he, he starts this familiar. token. He does whatever. <clears throat> and lo and behold, fraudster's going to fraud. It rug pulled, rug got rug pulled. pulled. Yeah, so makes sense. Yeah, he. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar, yeah. what normally happens is with a rug pull in crypto is uh, the the token or coin comes out, people buy in, the price goes up from people who bought it at point zero 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 one, the, the shit goes up to point zero 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 three. They've thousand times their investment. And then they, they have a giant stake because they're the owner of the coin, and they just sell, sell it all, sell kill all the liquidity, and it basically yep. goes to zero. Yep, because they, they bought all of theirs at the base price. Right. Yeah, exactly. So that's, they, that's called the rug pull. So what this – then he comes out and says he did not rug pull it, and this was the best part. He says – now this man, he, he, he's tech savvy. He knows what's going mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. He said that he torrented a file for porno. And it was an EXE instead of a uh, instead of a video, and he opened it, and hackers got access to his stuff, and they stole all his crypto. They stole all of your Scarelli so coin. He, he didn't. He didn't rug pull. Yeah. He got scammed That's, by a yeah, okay. porno torrent file. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, who the who the hell has got scammed from a porno torrent? Who is torrenting? porno in 2022 nobody, nobody. <laughs> like nobody. there's nine million porn sites out there and see there's been so many of these rug pulls like obviously he's just a liar um but oh, there's yeah, been yeah, so many of these rug pulls that it, it makes people skittish around around cryptocurrency and it was like it was a beautiful thing you know yeah like yeah. It, it, could, it possibly could have been something and and there's gonna be repercussions for these. Oh, for him? For for all of the rug pulls. I hear that they're already making legislation to prevent this from yeah. happening. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's just, the thing, it's man. Scamming <laughs> people out of their money, man. Well, yeah, and here's the thing with with crypto. I, I actually do believe at my heart. I believe in crypto. I think it, it eh. will be successful over time. Eh. <clears throat> the problem is, is people want to get rich quick, and people jump into this. People FOMO. People see, yeah. and, but they're also ju jumping into like tokens with no use case, with no. They're like, "Hey, it came out with Joe Blow Unu token, right? Like, let's get in that. What's it do? I don't know. Like, there's tokens and coins out there that have real use. They're like the foundation of. They like they'll be like, "Hey, we created layer two on Ethereum, so all the NFT marketplaces ride on our thing, and our coin is the currency. You can pay fees with that." Use case, I see the value, I see where it could make money, I see that, those sort of things. Or they're like, hey, we're trying to do this with this, you know, big, bigger token. But like, just like, hey, I named it something, and now all of a sudden it's ran 10,000%. Yeah, yeah. Be smart, man. It's like I, NFT scams. I don't know, when you really think about it, like, okay, so currency in, in and of itself doesn't really have any value. It's like the belief of value right. in it. So even with crypto, it's the belief of value. But on the same note, I can't walk into a a grocery store and pay for something in Bitcoin. It's getting there. It's, it's getting there. Yeah. And Doge was even on that list of accepted yeah. coins in a lot of places yeah. for for a while, for like a summer, a year. Yeah, it probably exactly. still maybe in some places, but right. I, you know, it, it's yeah. Like and they do that some place. Like even like AMC theaters takes like. A bunch of cryptocurrencies now for tickets and so it's it's coming around and there's other things where like exchanges like coinbase and things like that they'll give you a visa card and then you can set what crypto Ooh. to spend 
and then you use it like a debit card and it sells your crypto and does a whatever. A metal card. Yeah, a metal card powered, powered by, by crypto. crypto. But uh, but the problem is, here's the other thing that you, the people have to realize about crypto. You have to know how many coins exist. There's a reason that Bitcoin went up to $70,000. There's only a max supply of 21 million Bitcoin, <laughs> and most of it has been fucking lost by now, right? Yeah, there's, so there's, there's a bunch of it sitting on a hard drive right, in, the, in the dump. <laughs> right, so there's a supply and demand issue. When these new tokens come out, which I'm sure his token, I didn't look at, the, at the, how many tokens exist, many of these tokens come out and they're like, we've made a quadrillion to, of these tokens yeah, yeah. that shit is never going to a dollar no. because the market cap would be more than like the entire fucking stock yeah. market if it went to a cent that'd be a quadrillion dollars <laughs> right exactly right so people don't they're just like oh it's going up real fast let's jump in no or a tenth of a quadrillion but yeah 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 you're i mean you're absolutely right you're absolutely right but uh I don't know. I don't know. I, I would say just be wary of buying anything. Let, let me ask you this, TNT. I don't know. Because I guess I've never asked you this question. What? At, at, at the core of your beliefs, do you believe in crypto and NFTs that they're, gonna, that they're going to stick around and have value and be the wave of like the future here in the next little bit? No. Decade or something? Absolutely not. Okay. Why? Adoption? Okay. I don't think and that's purely I, it? I don't think a lot of people are adopting them. Um, I think adoption, I think of, uh, what do you call that? As far as uh, people, how they perceive something. Right. What do you call that? What is that? What's the term for that? Uh, perception? Uh, yeah, I guess perception. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I guess perception. I feel like uh, the NFTs, ugh. see, like, as soon as you say it, like, it already gives, like, that not in my stomach where i'm like ugh, nfts and, and crypto they are not looked at favorably by people because they've been associated with those reddit crypto bros right. and nobody and right, as, soon right. as, you, as soon as you attach it to a group this yeah. faceless amorphous blob this on mass this crazy looking yeah reddit mod looking guy who's sitting behind a computer and just yeah. then automatically you hate it even more you, so women don't okay. want to hear about it it's not sexy right right no, I okay. I I do believe in it. I mean, yeah. And and I the reason figured. I do is because cuz you made money on it? No, cuz kids believe in it. <laughs> and okay, and, I see and, where and, you're going. And now adoption is not going to happen while boomers are in charge. No. But give it 10 they, years. They can't even accept two men years, kissing. If the kids are all into it, it's going to stay around, dude. I mean, and, and I think once NFTs get into the point of it, it becomes a validator and an authenticator of like, hey, you buy this Gucci bag, you get this NFT. Yeah. And once, because if all the kids have crypto wallets, that <laughs> as they get older, it's going to be nothing to be like, hey, I have this <laughs> NFT that proves this is a valid concert ticket. Jonas, I'm selling you my ticket. Jonas is definitely that guy that would hand out NFTs for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the, the Crazy Town Compound <laughs> Halloween NFT <laughs> <laughs> 2022 edition. <laughs> so, but uh, but no, regardless, I think I think over time there will find adoption and whatever. Uh, I mean, but I don't know if it's gonna happen in our time life no we'll be old by the time it's like commonplace i think we'll be super old or gone right <laughs> yeah, that's, but what, I, that's what i mean so <laughs> I like when you say like will it eventually be something i say yes but i don't know if i'll be around long enough that's to, like, true see that yeah and, and i guess the the thing right now is is, is I, that i'm trying to think about is you know there's good so, like a lot of the cryptos that are around right now the, the like the top say 10 to 20 like you know coins mm. in in 10 years, may maybe five of them will be left because something will happen, whatever. But I feel like there's money to be made of like, you you can put a small amount of money in some of these and in 20 years, it's going to be worth a shitload of money because they've, they've, they've found <coughs> allegedly. their niche, they've been adopted. But Alle are, allegedly. But finding the right one. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. But finding the right one is the, but people who, who, who got on Ethereum all that time ago, dude. <laughs> Yeah, okay. And then there was that one guy who went to the uh to the to the gas station, bought a lottery ticket. He won the lottery. Yeah, exactly. So, so you know Yeah, I don't people know, man. win the lottery all the time. I yeah. hear about it all the time, dude. People always win the lottery. So, you know, it's a good chance you could too. Just <laughs> buy some freaking shit coin. <laughs> it's my favorite one. Buy some big dick 
tip coin in this <laughs> DT coin. B- BDT, yeah. It's out there. <laughs> that's my favorite coin. Yeah. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to the and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh yeah.